Wuthering Waves just appeared on both the Play Store and the App Store for pre-registration and they revealed the estimated launch date being the 23rd of May 2024. This is the global pre-registration. This is not the Chinese pre-registration. This is completely separate. This is for global. This is according to social media. Cross-platform open world action RPG. When you look at the app store, it says 23rd of May 2024. You can currently pre-register for the game right now. That is so close. That is actually crazy close. Because what is it right now? It's March, right? It's March 27th, which means it's less than potentially two months away. Now, they're, due to it being potentially being this close, okay? It also runs the risk of being rushed because I know a lot of people weren't happy with the final, you know, the, the previous beta test. They thought there were numerous different areas that needed improved. And I, well, I thought for the most part, the beta test was pretty well done with the exception being the story is still in some translation issues. I feel like the game is is on its way to being ready. Some people didn't. I, I'm i gonna go out on a limb here and assume, based off of my knowledge with social media, people on Reddit, Twitter, etc., etc., people are gonna be a little upset by this reveal, and they're going to claim the game is far from being ready. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Reddit comments and see what they think. But based off of what you guys know about the game, do you think it's ready in the state that it's in? And are you excited to get to potentially play this on PC or mobile in less than two months? Epic Games intern did no wrong. That is true. May is going to be a busy month for all gacha games. Very true. That's fast. I was expecting another closed beta test, but they did held the focus group test in Korea. Hopefully the decision isn't going to backfire on them. Yeah, that See, that's what I was expecting. I was immediately expecting someone to say, that is quick. That is too soon. Too much competitors, it needs to be fast. Yeah, I feel like what I feel is that too many other open world gacha games are coming. We have Azure Premelia. We have Project Mugen. We have Wang Yua. We have Ark Knight's Enfield. We have... Do it, Night Abyss. All these games that are coming over the course of like the next year. If Wuthering Waves doesn't get out now and establish itself as a dominant force in the genre, unfortunately, it is going to then have to compete with all of the above. And if it's forced to compete with so many other incredible games, it's it's just it's not going to end up achieving what it could potentially achieve and that's sad because Wuthering Waves has a lot of potential and is a very good game from both the test phases I've played. Many competitors like Zenless, Azure Premelia, exactly, which means they need to push the game out now before it's too late because if they release six months from now, they're going to have two, three additional games to compete with. Right now, there's nothing. So May, I think, is a good idea. They can't do another beta. The last one had monetization. Yeah, that was true. I don't know if this is enough time to fix the issues people have with the echo farming. They meant they did note that they're going to add additional ways to farm echoes. And didn't they say they were going to reduce the... They were going to add, like, the ability to reroll stats or something like that or make it easier to obtain stats. I think that could be very cool. I think that could be a great fix to the issues people have with the echo farming system. Almost everything about this game screams development hell. And the uh, closed beta build is old cope is still pretty fresh in my mind from BF2042. Combined with Kudo's rather consistent record of botched launches, I'm really tempering my expectations here. Okay, well that's that is surprisingly savage. They think the game is going to be stuck in development hell and people saying that the closed beta build is old is copium and that kudo has a consistent record of botched launches i'm going to be honest i think the only I, I, the only game i know that kudo actually released was punishing gray raven have they released other games i know punishing gray raven wasn't received that well at, you know at launch but they've made exemplary progress and they've done a you know a 180 and completely overhauled the game since they better fix up the translations that is a that is one of the main areas that i think needed fixed as well i hope they change the horrendous font am i the only one that didn't care about the font my god here's the official wuthering waves page so wuthering waves waking of a world from kudo games pre-order expected may 23rd yeah like you don't even need to look at screenshots it's right here it's literally right here like <laughs> right on the app store page but there it is 
for anyone that was curious. Not doctored, right on the app store. Hasn't been removed, it's been there for the entire day. So I'm assuming this is, this is about it. We're gonna be able to play Wuthering Waves May 23rd, globally. That's exciting, that actually is genuinely exciting. I. I am, I'm really looking forward to playing it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't care whether it competes with Genshin. I, to me, it doesn't need to, I think, compete with Genshin. Because I feel like it's a completely different kind of game, overall, with a different audience.